talk about this collaboration between Akamai and FSISAC. So FSISAC is the Financial Services Information Sharing and Analysis Center. Um, if you're familiar, there are, I don't know, 15 to 25 ISACs. Uh, there's one for financial services. Uh, there's one for healthcare. There's one for retail and hospitality, aviation, on and on and on. And so these are groups where the members and FSISAC has 5, 000, over 5,000 members. They're one of the ISACs that are global. Um, and it's where all the banks and trading uh, houses and stuff can join together and collaborate for security. Uh, and so again, when I was CISO at Nordstrom Bank, you know, it was a great place to go in and, and see what the analysts were doing. They could talk without an NDA and, and I could see raw intelligence. So it's a, an amazing organization. Um, and so we are one of the critical provi providers with them, the founder of that critical provider program. And so because Akamai protects over 400 banks across the the world, you know, we see so much DDoS traffic. And then, you know, beyond banks, we just see so much global DDoS traffic. You know, Akamai started off doing CDNs. We now do over a billion dollars in cybersecurity. We're also doing cloud infrastructure. But all that data we have, we wanted to share it with the FSISAC community. So we started doing these joint annual reports. And it's all around DDoS. And so when I say DDoS, distributed denial of service attacks, um, that's applications, layer seven. So if you have APIs or a large language model or web pages, that's someone's coming in and attacking and denying access. It's uh, your infrastructure. You know, when you try to log into work, that's layer three, four traffic. And, and we see a ton of denial of service against that. So people can't, their systems just don't work. And finally, DNS, the domain name service, basically the phone book or GPS of the internet. And so if somebody attacks that and, and people can't find you because they can't resolve for you. And we have, you know, attacks can be either size based on volume or, crippling your infrastructure by, you know, consuming your CPUs. And as we look at the attack trends, we're going to talk about how quickly, you know, it goes from zero to a new record setting attack that used to take hours. Now it takes minutes. You know, the complexity, is it one type of attack or seven different types of attack trying to overwhelm your defenses with, with, you know, all the different techniques or is it just scope, that volume? So that's kind of what the report talks about. Thank you for sharing more about this collaboration. What did Akamai and FSISAC learn this year? And why are DDoS attacks getting so much attention again? Yeah, you know, in, in a couple of years ago, we were talking about, you know, the, the rise in multi-vector attacks. The complexity was was increasing. And now we've seen that pendulum swing back this year, and we're talking about it's more volumetric. You know, so instead of testing for can you handle multiple types of attacks at the same time, now we're saying, can you handle this new peak of volume? And one of the things that I encourage people to do when they go look at these reports is, is you know, if you go out to Akamai blog or if you go to any of these providers, We'll talk about the new record set. And then you can look at your infrastructure and say, you know, if I work with an ISP, if I work with somebody like Akamai, what volume can can they protect? And and I'm I going to be protected from having any customer impact because I, I want to make sure my customers have access. Um, we continue to see finance or the financial sector is the most attacked sector. As we look at the type of attacks, you know, we see an increase in that application layer. Quite honestly, the cyber criminals are going to attack where we have the most revenue. Uh, and the revenue is on that web, on the APIs. You know, that's where we interact with our customers. We're continuing to see an increase in the use of APIs, you know, apps and, and all these kind of things. And so, as people go for this machine-to-machine -machine contact, 
um, the enemies just follows us there, and, and the threat and the cyber criminals are attacking that. So while we saw an increase of about 19% on web pages, we've seen an increase in attack volume on APIs of 58%. And then finally, that motivation. We continue to see, and this has been a past three to five years, um, more and more hackivist. So it's the motivation has changed from cybercrime to a hybrid of, of geopolitics. You know, and most of this is in Europe, in the Middle East, but we continue to see people attacking financial institutions for political reasons.